Hey, what's up everybody? I got a 2016 Toyota Camry. I'm going to be replacing the MAF sensor. The MAF sensor is right here. Sometimes you'll get a, like a rip in this boot right here or you'll get uh, some air coming in. Uh, basically, when air comes through here, it goes through the air filter and it goes past the MAF sensor. The MAF sensor reads it and sends the uh, metered reading to the ECM. But if there's air that gets in behind this, uh, it could set a code if there's a rip in here or something, or if the MAF sensor itself is going bad. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to show you how to replace it. And um, it's all done under the hood. Make sure the key's out of the vehicle. Like I said, I got a Camry. This is the SE, the 2.5 2016. And uh, make sure the key's out of the vehicle and the power is not on when you're uh, disconnecting this because it'll throw a code. So here it is right here. Let's push this little connector, this little thumb part on the back. It's a little button thumb. Thumb button. We'll push it and then slide this backwards. It's going to be a little stubborn because these cars are older now. A lot of dust and, and stuff's been getting in there. And then we're going to get these two screws out. Uh, Phillips head. <clears throat> They're kind of like a smaller uh, Phillips head. Kind of like a tight, uh, like thinner one. So if yours doesn't fit, it's not, you know, it's not your screwdriver. It's just they take a smaller head bit to get these out be careful not to drop them uh, save them i'm going to try to link some of these screws below in case you drop some i'm also going to link a new math sensor below and i'm going to show you how to clean this as well uh is it if you want to just remove it and clean it so we'll get this other screw out now cleaning it is good if if you just think it's dirty and you want to clean up the signal a little bit uh, you pull this out and now it has a little uh metal wire that heats up i'll show you here's the part number this is a toyota one um, so we got it right here. That little metal wire can get dirty or leaves or dead bugs can get on it, dirt. And the more, uh, covered it is the, uh, the, the more inaccurate the reading. So we're going to spray it with some MAF cleaner right here. Get those clean. And, uh, after you spray it, just let it dry out for like 10 minutes before you put it back in and connect it. And now if you're going to clean it and reinstall it, that's pretty much all there is to it. You just reinstall it after you spray it. Now, I'm getting uh, some prices right here. This is a new one on Amazon. This is a, a genuine Toyota one. Notice there's like a $20 one right next to it. I highly recommend going OEM if you can. If you absolutely have to, get an aftermarket one, but check the ratings. This one has good ratings. I'm going to link this one. It's 24 bucks for an aftermarket one. And um, So whether you have a new one or you have your new clean one, let's put it back in the, the car here. You're going to put it in and then line up the screw holes and then put our screws back in. Uh, just tighten these down. These don't have to be like mega tight. You just get them pretty snug plus a quarter turn. They're not really going to go anywhere. And uh, you'll, you'll kind of feel it. You'll feel like it's tight. Don't go crazy tight because you could strip it, strip out the little plastic spots that these screw into. All right, got this tight. And then we're going to plug it in. All right, then after that, um, you can go start the car and it should run better. Hopefully it's running better for you with your new one or with your new clean one. And that's it guys, that's how to do your MAF sensor on the 2016 Toyota Camry 2.5 liter. All right guys, that's all the information I got for you. The rest of the video is just some products and other stuff I got going on. Totally up to you if you want to stick around. I got a 15% off promo code for Oxido.com. They got a handful of products, but what they're mostly known for is their really good aftermarket LED headlights. They've been out a few years now, and uh, at first the lights they had were 200% brighter than regular headlight bulbs. Now they've upgraded the tech this year, and now it's 600% brighter. So if you're in the boonies, the suburbs, the city, um, I highly recommend you upgrade your bulbs. Nothing wrong with having an old car, but you should get with the times and have bright headlights like everyone else. These bulbs are available on Amazon. However, if you go to the Oxido website, that's where I can give you a promo code for 15% off. All you got to do is go to the website, type in your year, make, and model. There's um, basically products for every car out there and uh, what kind of light you want. They have all kinds of different lights for interior, exterior, headlights. And then you just browse to what you need and you get it. And then at checkout, you're going to type in Guillermo Auto and then hit apply in the coupon code spot and it'll take 15% off.